hello student in this class we learned how to use sweep modifier so first i create a rectangle for applying sweep modifier go to modify section and click on the modify list and type sw so it will come on the top sweep modifier is apply on the rectangle and the by default section is angle so it look like this you can also choose different different sections from the this drop down list like x shape like pipe shape around 8 to 10 different shapes are available here for the use you can also pick some custom shape so first i create a custom shape from the left direction I create this custom shape in the quick steps. Now select this rectangle and click on the use custom section and click on the pick button and pick this shape. This shape is apply on this rectangle and you can use this as a POP design for ceilings. This tool has some modification options like angles. You can change the angle like this if you need. So I press 180. So now it's in outside. And these are some points for alignment. You can choose from the top, center, and bottom alignment. But the only problem with this sweep modifier, you can't scale this. So you can use some custom plugins like K Studio Sweep Profile. They have a couple of other tools, but in the product free product you can download this free tool in the free version they provide 10 to 12 designs and in the paid version more than 35 designs so you can choose any one plugin is downloaded so i switch to 3ds max again and install this plugin for installation go to scripting menu and choose run script option and select this script from the desktop open and then click on the install button okay a new flyout is open click on the toolbar and choose k studio tool in the category section and find sweep profile Click and drag this tool on the toolbar. I already load this tool and close this window. Now click on this button and choose any design. So design is applied but size is very huge so you can reduce the size 4 inch by 4 inch Okay, and you can also change the angle from here. If you increase the size, just type the new value here like this. In the 3ds Max modifier, size tool is not available, but in this free tool, you can use size options and increase and decrease the size. Now we meet in the next class. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe my channel and like this video.